What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with a quick look at Android 5.1.1 on the Galaxy S6, which introduces some software tweaks and some performance improvements. Now in terms of performance improvements, one of them is the speed of the fingerprint scanner, which is evident when you compare them side by side. So the Edge on the right is running 5.1.1, the GS6 on the left is running 5.0.2, and the fingerprint scanner is more accurate, more reliable, and quicker. Now we do have a few software tweaks. One of them is the option to turn off the S Finder and Quick Connect shortcuts in the drop down notification shade. So we can go up to edit and you now have the option to uncheck them. So we can uncheck S Finder and Quick Connect and click done. So now those are gone. Now if you only want one of them, click done here. You can see it's now centered instead of split. Now the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge have always had this motion wallpaper, although I realize a lot of people are reporting that it's new with Android 5.1.1. That's not the case. What is new is that you can now turn off the motion effect for the wallpaper. So if you go to wallpapers, you can see we have this quick toggle for turning that motion effect off. Also something that's being reported as new but really isn't new is alphabetization of the app drawer that's always been here since the original release. They've also tweaked the camera app here, so when you tap the scene to focus, you get this little exposure controller, which allows you to quickly adjust exposure manually. The Theme Store app has also been updated with a prominent Theme Store button at the bottom, as opposed to the link at the top of the screen right here. Now they've also tweaked the pop-up notification, so you can swipe left or right to dismiss it. You can also swipe up to dismiss it, but this time it keeps it in your notification panel, so you can access it later instead of dismissing it completely. Now in terms of overall performance, I don't see a huge difference here. The cameras launch about the same speed, apps launch about the same speed, the app drawer is available at the same speed, same with the overview feature. So generally speaking, there doesn't seem to be a big difference here. Alrighty guys, hope you enjoyed these quick looks at software updates. If you like them, please give a thumbs up to let me know so I'll do more in the future. So that's going to do for me in this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one.